George has talk, talked about the disappointment in the change room after that, Lewis. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough one. Um, obviously, a lot of heads down. Probably let ourselves down a bit there, let the fans down, um, just for our own inaccuracies. Um, you know, they go down to 14, then 13, and it's, it's how we react to that, which we, we probably need to learn how to do a bit better. How is it for you as Skipper having to lead a side which is so disruptive at the start of the game? Oh, well, you know, it's, we're lucky at the moment we've got a very good group of boys. You know, we spoke about it before. We're a very close group at the moment. Um, no egos jumping around in there. We, we are very tight and we were hoping that was what was going to get us through the game. Um, like you said, a bit disjointed, but we, we hope that we've got a good enough squad that we can you know, gel together and, and move on from this. Especially after last week's performance, which was outstanding. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of one of those sort of one step forward, two steps back mentality. But hopefully, we, you know, the good thing about this sport is we get to go again next week. Um, we've got, what was it, 20 games on the bounce still. So hopefully we'll hit some form and we'll be able to keep that going. There's a lot of drawn out breaks, referrals to the TMO. The game didn't flow at times either. No, no, like you say, there was some really long breaks in there and on, on a cold evening. But, you know, that, that's no excuse. We're used to those. Those happen every game. It's, it's part and parcel of the game. We just we got to react a bit better when we got the ball. I suppose one of the positives is you didn't give up, and in the end, James Hansen went over those two touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, you know, probably one of the, you know one of the positives to come out of that game was the mall. Um, the last few weeks, we scored a couple of mall tries, so that's something we've been working really hard on in training, and, and like you say, a positive to take out of the game. And also, the lineup went very well. Lineup, yeah, very good. You know, even with the disruption of, of Garves going out, you know, Ed came in, called, um, worked really well. Craig, you went well, um, and even Ollie coming off the bench late. You know, testament to him. He's only been at the club a couple of weeks, came in and, and knew his role really well. So you've got to build for a game against French opposition next weekend. How, how do you do that? Oh, well, you know, French always hard. You know, they're usually a big pack, and we, we pride ourselves on our fitness. So you know, we'll, we'll go down that route of, of uh, hopefully trying to, you know, play the ball a bit. And if we can go out there and stick to a game plan, you know, that'll be the, the aim for us. Stick to a game plan, take it through those European games, and then hopefully bring that back into the Premiership on uh, Boxing Day. Good opportunity to put some rights then. Yes, yeah, yeah, right some wrongs and go out there and enjoy ourselves you know, we, like I say, we, we pride ourselves on being a real tight group so there's no better place to go away to France and win you know it's always a tough thing to do we're lucky as Gloucester we've, we've done it a few times and been involved in some really good big French wins so hopefully we can do it again thanks very much cheers mate thank you